there's this powerful scene that I love in this movie that's about a young man who has this enormous genius, but he struggles to actually apply it. And there's a scene where he's with a counselor, a therapist, and he, they're trying to get to the bottom of this and it comes out that this young man, when he was younger, was the victim of some egregious abuse in his life. And the counselor says to him, that's not your fault. And the young man replies, he says, I know. But the counselor doesn't let him go. He says again, it's not your fault. And the young man says, I know. And he gets the, the entire scene is just these two lines repeated over and over. It's not your fault. I know. With the therapist becoming more and more uh, firm and the young man becoming more and more agitated, angry, and it ends with the therapist holding him and, and the young man weeping. And the therapist saying, it's not your fault. And, and the young man just crying. Because although he knew in his mind, you know, of course it's not my fault. You know, there was a piece of him, I think, that thought it was. And it, it just wasn't. Those things aren't the fault of the victims, ever. It's just not true. And I think sometimes when we're looking at love, we often look at the problem. And the problem is why... Why am I unloved? Why don't more people love me? What's the problem? The problem, we often decide, is me. There's something wrong with me. I'm defective in some way, and that's why I don't have a better relationship with my parents. That's why I don't have a, a significant other. That's why I don't have a, fill in the blank. And we look at the people around us and say, why does that person have loving relationship? Why does that person have loving relationship? And I don't. Why don't I have more? Why don't I have better? Why don't I have higher quality? Why am I not more loving? All these questions. And as we start trying to figure out the problem, even if intellectually we might say, of course, I know that's not the case, that on some level in our hearts, we think to ourselves, it's got to be me. But it's not. It's not your fault. You see, there are people who are less kind than you. There are people who are less enjoyable than you. There are people who are less moral than you, less loving than you. And they're loved by someone. So it can't be you. It's not. It just isn't. And I love this quote. You'll see it in today's reading. This quote from Fred Rogers, Mr. Rogers, right? Who was this incredibly loving man. He said this, Love isn't a state of perfect caring. It is an active noun like struggle. To love someone is to strive to accept that person exactly the way he or she is right here and now. Love isn't about finding uh, someone who is worthy of love and then loving them. Love is not about becoming worthy of love and then accepting it. The reality is you're worthy of love right now. You, who you are, the way you are, without changing anything. That you're worthy of love. That you're deserving of love. And I believe... Love is available to you. 